Okay, this is uh, the ideal gas law solving for mass, molar mass, and density. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange the ideal gas law so that we can solve for these different variables. So, the ideal gas law can be used to determine the mass of a gas in grams, the molar mass of a gas in grams per mole, and the density of a gas in grams per liter. The way, what we're going to do is we're going to take our ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, and we're going to rearrange it. Now, the first thing we need to recognize is that N stands for moles. And what moles are is the amount of mass divided by the molar mass of the substance. So it's mass divided by molar mass. If we let set little m equal to mass and capital M equal to molar mass, what we could do is we could substitute that into the equation where the n is. So instead of PV equals nRT, what we'll get is PV equals uh, little m over capital M times RT. Now, we can rearrange this by multiplying both sides of the equation by capital M, and we get m, capital M times PV equals little m times RT. Now, this equation here can be used to either calculate the molar mass or the uh, mass of an individual gas. Okay, so if we want to calculate the molar mass, what we do is we divide by PV. By dividing by PV, we get capital M equals little m times RT over PV. And this is our equation for the molar mass of a gas, where capital M is the molar mass and little m again is the mass. If we want to uh, solve for the mass of, of the gas, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by RT. What that will give us is capital M times PV divided by RT equals little m. And this is our equation for the mass of a gas. Now we can use this equation here, the equation for the mass of a gas, to solve for density. The way we do this is we divide both sides of the equation by V. If we do that, we get MP divided by RT equals little m over V. Okay, well little m is mass, V is volume, and mass divided by volume is density. That's the equation for density that we talked about way back in the first unit. So, what we can now say is that MP divided by RT is equal to density by substituting density into the uh, equation. So we have now three equations, and our three equations are the molar mass equation, which is capital M equals MRT divided by PV, the mass equation, which is little m equals capital M PV divided by RT, and our density equation, which is equal to MP divided by RT. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, work through a few problems here, and we're going to try to uh, see if we can use these different equations to solve for molar mass, mass, or density, depending on what the individual problem is asking for. So let's try a problem. Uh, a balloon is filled with 96.0 grams of an unknown gas. If the volume of the balloon is 48.0 liters at 0 0.920 atmospheres and 20.0 degrees Celsius, what is the molar mass of the gas? Well, this, this problem here is asking us to solve for molar mass. So we're going to use the molar mass equation. And the molar mass equation is capital M equals little m times RT divided by PV. Now reading through the problem, what we can do is we can figure out what variables we have to plug in. Well, obviously we're looking to solve for capital M because that's the molar mass term. We have the mass, it's 96.0 grams. We have R, which is 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres divided by moles times Kelvin. Remember, that's a constant. That's something we need to know. It's not actually stated in the problem, but that's a constant. We have the temperature, which is 293.15 Kelvin. Remember, we have to use Kelvin in all gas law equations, which means we have to add 273 to um, whatever our temp measured temperature is, if it's measured in Celsius, which it is in this case. Our pressure is 0 0.920 atmospheres, that comes directly from the problem, and our volume is 48.0 liters. So now all we're going to do is we're going to plug those values into the equation, and we get capital M equals 96.0 times 0 0.0821 times 293.15 divided by 
0 0.920 times 48.0. So what we're going to do is we evaluate the top part we get and the bottom part, and we get capital M equals 2310.491 divided by 44.16. Now solving that, capital M, which is our molar mass, is equal to 52.32. Now all we do is we w look at our significant figures, and we're going to get 52.3 grams per mole as our molar mass. Okay. So that's how we can solve for molar mass in a problem. Let's try another one. Calculate the mass of neon needed to fill a balloon to a volume of 20.0 liters at 1.00 atmospheres of pressure and 300.0 degrees Celsius, uh, Celsius uh, Kelvin. Sorry, 300 degrees Kelvin. Well, in this case here, what we're asked to solve for is the mass. So the mass is equal to capital M P V uh, divided by R T. So now we're going to use the problem, and we are going uh, we're going to find what information is given to us and what we need to actually solve for. Obviously, we're trying to solve for little m, which is the mass value, and we're given m, uh, the, our molar mass. Our molar mass, since we're told it's neon, we go to the periodic table. We can find that it has a mass of 20.180 grams per mole. That's its molar mass. The pressure is 1.00 atmospheres. The volume is 20.0 liters. The R value again is 0.0821 atmospheres times liters divided by moles times Kelvin. And the temperature is 300 uh, degrees Kelvin. So we're going to plug these values into our equation. We get mass is equal to 20.18 times 1.00 times 20.0 divided by 0.0821 times 300. Evaluate the top, evaluate the bottom, and what you get is the mass is equal to 403.6 divided by 24.63, which gives you a mass of 16.39, which um, is 16.4 when you round it to the right number of significant digits. So 16.4 grams is the mass of the gas that was in that balloon. So, one last problem here. In this problem, we're going to determine the density of 83.8 grams of krypton, which is one mole, at STP. Now, another just side note, one mole of all gases at STP have a volume of 22.4 liters. That's the key idea. That's a key idea in enabling us to do this, to solve for the density of gases using the ideal gas law equation. Okay, so now, in order to do this, we're going to use our density equation, which is the density is equal to the molar, molar mass of the gas times the pressure divided by R uh, times T. So looking at the problem, figuring out what information we need to solve for this, Den uh, density is what we're looking for. The molar mass is 83.8 grams per mole. The pressure is 1.00 atmospheres. The R value is a constant. It's 0.0821 atmospheres times liters times moles times Kelvin. The temperature is 273.15 Kelvin. So we're going to plug these values into our equation. And when we plug these values into our equation, what we get is density is equal to 83.8 times 1.00 divided by 0 0.0821 uh, times 273. So now we're going to evaluate this, and we get density is 83.8 divided by 2. Uh, 22.4 density is 3.74 so the density is 3.74 grams per liter that's the density of our gas so now what you've seen here is how we could take it the simple equation PV equals NRT and we can rearrange it into three different equations that allow us to solve for mass molar mass and density